Now, this one is a general question for all. As you know, enrollment, I'm so sorry. Other question. This one is more just back to your personal ones. How will this service and the board help you achieve your own personal goals? I'd like to begin at the end with Timothy Powell. Number one, how this is going to improve my personal goals. I am a learner. I am a doer. I want not to be a lifetime career board member here on the College of Lake County Board. I have made that promise right now, and I'll make it again. I'm going to serve a duly elected one term. And I've done this on other boards that I've been on. I'm not a lifelong recipient of any kind of accolades or any kind of agendas on any of these boards. I want to serve a term, gather knowledge, do what I can to uh, make the situation better and move on. And that's the way I've done my professional career, where I didn't want to stay as a detective my whole career. I wanted to go on and make other changes, and I wanted to go on and, and command other divisions. And commanding narcotics, or commanding records, or co-commanding the court system, I did it all. And as far as this knowledge makes you a better person, it makes you think better. I'm able to answer questions. And as far as any kind of board experience, I've got board experience. I've got about six, six boards that I've already served on. And this is what I want to do. Serve, move on, and get more information. Thank you. Thank you very much. Can I please have a response from William Griffin? Well, I'm in a unique position, uh, in a very fortunate position. And almost every corporate executive that I've worked with in corporate America, the number one thing they wanted to do when they retired from corporate America is teach. And I've been able to do that. So I see my students starting right college. I'm a tenured faculty member the department chair. I see the students each and every day in a unique situation of being on one community college board. At the same time, I'm teaching as a tenured faculty member at another. So I've got a pretty unique position where I can see essentially policy being developed one night, participate in and ask my colleagues, and then see that implemented the next day in the classroom. There's no more joy that I have in teaching students, helping students pathway to their success. Uh, a number of students have come back to me and thank me uh, years later as well on uh, contribution. I think that I've made a small part of their life a little bit better. And I think that's what it's all about. It's not, not, not about how much money you have uh, or anything else. It's about how do you really help someone improve their life. And that's what I'm doing. Thank you. Could we please have a response from Phil Durantz? Yes, absolutely. Thank you. Much like Dr. Griffith, that's been my passion my whole life. Serving others. Helping others. My motto for my business is helping students succeed. And that's really my passion. And it may sound altruistic, but you know what? I have a belief in this. For those who much of this has been given, much is expected to return. And that is my life principle. I've been very fortunate, very fortunate with my education, my work experience, my lifestyle. But I have to give back. I can't just take everything that life has given me, all these rewards, and just hold on to them. I've got to find ways of getting that back. And I've been doing that throughout my whole career. And this is just another way that I can do this. It's kind of like this idea of self-actualization. I want to be a part of the Lake County, or the College of Lake County Board because I want to help to give back to my community. I see that there's a problem, and if I sat back and didn't do anything about that problem, then I would basically say, you know what, I didn't do enough. And here's the problem. And again, this is in the Daily Herald. This is on my Twitter feed and on my Facebook site as well. Right, this is from the Daily Herald. This is a problem that we have, and I want to try to help support the image of the College of Lake County by doing something about this. And this is why I want to serve on the board, and this is my personal passion right here. Thank you very much. Next would be an answer from Richard Anderson, please. Thank you. It's nice that Mr. Durant keeps holding up an article that starts with a, an attack on my wife, who's a private citizen and who's never sought the public eye, ever. But that's what ignorance does when uh, people read the newspapers and get only their information from the newspapers. Uh, being a college board member has been a privilege, always been a privilege. and. It's also been one that I've tried to do with a lot of civility. To be attacked like this is just outrageous. And uh, I don't know what to say to it. 
I've, I've gone, I, I've seen this, I've sat on a board for many years, never saw board members take off on one another or attack one another like, like they have recently. And I, I really don't know what to say. I, I know that we pass policies and we uh, change the way we do things and, and things are much, much different now. But you, you have to come to board meetings. You have to understand what we actually do on the College of the County Board of Trustees. This is a great college, a really great college, and a lot of great people work here and earn their living here. And students come to this college and leave here and do great things, wonderful things. And this pettiness, it, it, it's unbelievable. And, you know, I still feel sorry for my wife that she had to be put through this. That uh, wasn't even true. And, uh, you know, Trustee Oslager was attacked in the same article, and they made wild accusations that she doesn't live in Lake County. Of course she lives in Lake County. I mean, it, it's, it's just nonsense. But uh, that's, what, that's when you step forward and do public service, this is what happens. And you have to take it. And so I'll take it, because I'm, I'm in the public eye. I know I'm in the public eye, and I'll take it. But we have more important things to do than, than attacking one another. Thank you for your response. A following question? Uh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm not a caller. I don't respond. I'm so quiet that you need to notice me. <laughs> <laughs> um, as far as my personal goals, I have been a public servant and an educator my entire adult life. I started out teaching emotionally disturbed behavior disordered students, uh, junior high level, which with raging hormones is bad enough, let alone to have problems that go along with it. I did that for many years because it was gratifying to me to see students succeed and make it out of a self-contained classroom and into a regular classroom as they moved on to high school. Not all succeeded, but many. And, and like, Dr. Griffin said, the letters and the things that I received from parents saying thank you for taking care of my student for these two years, and that was a, a big motivator for me. I went into being a school administrator for the same reasons. I was the administrator for a building of 1,400 students K through six. We were the largest elementary school in the state. And again, watching the students succeed, working with the teachers, mentoring teachers was helpful and important to me. I went into law for the same reason, because again, I wanted to give back to the public. That's why I also ran for the board here. I think it's extremely important to continue to grow personally and professionally. It's important to work with people from all walks of life. It's important to see students here and hear their stories. There's nothing more gratifying, and I think my fellow trustees would agree with me, nothing more gratifying than our graduation services when we're there and students come up and tell us how much of a difference coming to CLC has made for their lives. The stories that we hear, the things that they tell us that they're planning to do, the things that they went through just to get here, are so gratifying to us as board members, or to me as a board member, and that's another reason why I hope to remain on the board, because I love what I do here, and I love being a public servant. Thank you very much for your response, and we do have another question. 